when these women develop these debilitating side effects, it can have marked effect on their ability to relate to important members of their family, uh, their ability to perform jobs. Um, and so many women often will even go on disability because the side effects are so prevalent and so debilitating. So I wanted to talk actually to, today about the side effects of the AC chemo, so what I have, what I endured this far. Well, first side effect, I lost all the hair. I lost the hair the second, after the second chemo, AC chemo. I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! As the radiation energy is passing through uh, the, a person's body, it has to go through the skin and the, and the tissues and into the lung, and it can scatter a bit uh, around tissues that are near the, uh, near the lung or the lung cancer. There are a lot of important tissues, as you can imagine. There's your esophagus, your heart is there, and, and even the surrounding normal lung is in that area. All right, hi. So this is day three of hair loss. And um, so basically what I did last night is I put my hair into a ponytail bun thing and it's been about 24 hours. I just wanted to see about how much hair loss there would be and um, so we'll just kind of see what that's like. I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, so it's really ratty right now. It's really gross. Oh, I just broke the hairband. <laughs> just really, really gross. I'm so sorry. Technically, I haven't lost any hair today because it's all been tied up. So if anyone is going to choose to go the slow method of losing their hair, definitely get a hairband tied up. Otherwise, it just comes everywhere. So here we go. Let's take a little trick. Okay, maybe that's not as good because it's all stuck. It's so gross. Maybe this is a really bad idea. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I did not. So there's. It's very much like chronic fatigue, particularly in the women who receive chemotherapy. Um, many of them say they can't get up in the morning like they normally would. They can't prepare the meals for their children. They can't show up at work without feeling like they're walking around in a fog. Um, a lot of women say they can't process information as quickly as they could before. All right, it's Monday morning, January 5th, and this is the first day of my radiation therapy. It's going to go on Monday through Friday for the next six weeks. Um, that right there, that big machine in that room is what I will be uh, put into. I'll be face down. Uh, and it really only takes a couple of minutes. It's really positioning you and making sure that everything is perfect and they as I've told you in other videos, they put little uh, tattoos. They put tattoos on your breast and a tattoo on your back, so all the lasers have to line up. Um, and the machine won't even go on if everything isn't aligned properly, so there's no room for error. Uh, it only takes about five minutes, uh, but you do have to come every single day. And this is that last insurance policy. After 16 rounds of chemo and a lumpectomy, this six weeks of radiation is the insurance policy just to make sure that I don't ever have to go through this again. I find that in the long run, up to 30% of women in the long run, several months to years after their treatment, will continue to suffer from fatigue. Hey, I'm going in for round 23 today. I'm almost at the finish line, but guess what? Last night, I was experiencing unbearable pain for the first time. I'm burnt. <laughs> My armpit is super burnt, I guess because it's like sensitive skin under here. And it's to a point where um, my skin is peeling off and I kind of have like a wound, like it's like a cut. It's nasty. Round 24 today and I'm actually really nervous to go in and do radiation treatment because the hole under my armpit that I was telling you about has gone in bigger. So I don't know how I feel about burning my skin even more. 
I have six more treatments to go and I'm in so much pain and now I am pretty nervous to enter that room. What we think is happening is that chemotherapy is altering the DNA. The DNA is the body's blueprint of forming proteins and how the body actually functions. It's all based on the DNA, which is the master coding um, of the human body. I'll be back.